Yeah. President Obama nominated and named and carved out a position for the federal CIO. And so Vivek was a great advocate for cloud computing. And he's like, this is the way we're going to be able to save money. We're going to be able to ship stuff faster. It, yeah. You can't have a responsive government without embracing cloud computing. And White House, while it's super visible, like everybody anywhere knows about the White House and all this stuff that's going on and who the president of the United States is and whatever, but yeah. the agency is tiny. It's like a thousand people and the budget... Wow for the IT is like dwarfed by all these other civilian agencies, sure. you know, but the cool part that it has going for it is it can largely be experimental. So if the president oh, and his team says right. he wants it, right, then you can sort of move mountains. The second platform in the door was Salesforce. The first one, we were lucky to be able to subcontract out Amazon Web Services for whitehouse.gov, okay. cutting edge DevSecOps for the government is mm -hmm. a thing that's not well known or done right now. And like, I am in really enjoying using new tools and fresh approaches on this stuff and sort of teaching the government how to do this. And I think a missing critical vulnerability for us at the moment, especially in terms of software we're building that any citizen or immigrant is ever going to touch is the design piece. Like do the HCD human-centered design work upfront that you need to, to really understand what software we're building before we even ship on if for the the tech engineers out there it's like don't be afraid to raise your hand in a meeting and you know right. take a leadership role but also don't be afraid to like pull the parachute ripcord out of government and go try something radically different